Previously on Canada's Next Top Model, the models struggle to wake up for a messy morning photo shoot, but are energized by a surprise announcement. You're going to the Bahamas! <laughs> While only seven models party in the Caribbean and do a beachfront photo shoot, Miriam is grounded with passport problems but gets to do an emotional shoot of her own. Good, that's what I like. In judging, Tara hears some harsh criticism. It's like you're smelling rotten fish on the beach. But it's Ebony who reluctantly says goodbye to the girls and the competition. Seven girls remain. Who will be eliminated tonight? With Ebony going, I think part of everyone will be going as well. Hi guys, I don't know what to say, so I'll just say this. Please stop complaining, you're the luckiest girls in the world. She was in shock. She really wanted it. I think Miriam should go home. I really felt like Miriam should go home. Her passport wasn't ready, and she should have had all of her ducks in a row, and she should have had that lined up. And if not, then maybe you're in the wrong industry. So what happened to Rebecca? Because she's, know, like, bawling she's... her face off. <laughs> I could tag and I couldn't stop crying. She's lost her spunk. It's more difficult than I thought it would be. Because I really, I really miss you and I miss everyone. I love you. I love you too. I love you three. <laughs> I love you four. And I love you even more. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Okay. Bye. Hey, baby. Bye. I noticed that you seem sad. Yeah, we all noticed you're like, take... your spark kind of mm. just like, so I'm really tired. And when I get tired, I want to talk to like people that I'm close to. And totally I totally know what you mean. All the girls are kind of just feeling awkward. She's kind of not all there. If you ever need anything, don't be afraid to ask. Oh. Ah. Ah, no more. I want to go to bed. not eaten something this delicious in a hundred years. Hash browns, toast, ketchup, yeah. We got a Jamie! Yeah! Hi girls, get ready to speak your mind. Are you a model or a mouse? Jay! Ow! Snap! Let's go! Because it says, are you a model or are you a mouse? Like, it's about your personality and like talking. And I think it's an interview. Kid cover girl, they give you what you say, right? So I was definitely nervous. I do suffer from social anxiety. I don't want that to limit me in life. I have an anxiety disorder. It's basically just a panic attack. I don't want that to be a reason why I don't succeed in this competition. Nikita seems to almost overreact because she's so scared of being sick. Nikita by far complains more than any. That's how I deal with things. I talk about them, I vent, and I get my feelings out. I'm not ashamed that I have an anxiety disorder. Some people are. Hi, girls. Hi. Today, what we're going to do is help you develop presence. And to help me do that is the beautiful and exquisite Irina Lazarenu, supermodel. Irina is a bona fide top model. She's worked with every major designer based on an immediate impact that she had with Karl Lagerfeld. He just catapulted her to supermodel stardom overnight. Hello, guys. For me, walking into the school is already a huge accomplishment because high school for me was horrible. I was a dorky kid, like really a freak. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is if you're a freak, be a freak. Don't be afraid of that. Megan, tell us, what is going to make us 
book you over all the other girls who were at the casting? I grew up as like shy, awkward, uh, head down all the time. I'm here representing awkward and klutzy. Go me. I came here because I think fashion is just like expressing, like expressing, expressing, yeah, yourself. And already your speaking voice yeah. is a lot better than it has been on judging. In judging, we can't hear her, and she's only five feet in front of us, and she's. <laughs> Do me a favor and count to ten, like really loud. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, and I'm Rebecca. How are you? Oh, good. <laughs> The only thing I would suggest, Rebecca, and you know, it's, it's, I mean, we love seeing your personality, but you know, we should just see that you're able to kind of restrain yourself. I have a great personality. I just need to bring it back a little on a first impression. So now it's time to put you to the test. We're gonna give you a few minutes to go over some script, and you have to bring your charisma and put your spin on it. It's a question about confidence, and it's a question about knowing how to use your emotions, whatever they are. I'm really bad at public speaking. I am not an actress by any means. English is my second language. I speak Creole. I had to focus on the English. I'm dyslexic. I have social anxiety. I'm feeling a bit nervous today, actually. I can forget about winning the challenge. <laughs> no. <laughs>Today's challenge is trying to draw charisma out of all of the girls. Charisma and presence is important for a model because when they walk into a casting, they have a 30 second window to make an impression. Honestly, I expect us have to do something ridiculous, maybe in like some sort of garbage bag or burlap sack. I don't know. I mean, we all try and predict what's gonna happen, but you may as well not predict it because it's never what's gonna happen. Well, first they dress us up in a burlap sack. We figure if you can sell us a burlap sack, you can sell us anything. What up? <laughs> Whether you're wearing a $20,000 couture gown or a burlap sack, you have to make us believe it. Just read that? Yep. Being Canada's next top model means being part of an illustrious tradition dating back to courtier Charles Frederick. It was in his atelier. Sorry. <laughs> Don't let us see by your face that you're completely struggling. Nikita has charisma, but her delivery was jumbled and awkward. Sasha Pira... Pivarova, Irina <laughs> Lindsay walked out with the most confident walk. She was absolutely amazing. That was a great entrance. The models who can own their je ne sais quoi. As soon as she got to the mic, it was like a sleeping pill kicked in. Don't make it monotone because it's boring as crap. We basically just had to wing it and read off this script that had a million tongue twisting names on it. <laughs> Designers from Chanel, Balenciaga, Sano Lorente, Lucro, Schule, and Melandrino. I'm not as well educated in the fashion industry as I should be and will now strive to be. That's really bad. Don't rush through this. Take your time. An illustrious tradition dating back to country of Charles Fred Rick Worth. Let's do something different. Can you translate the first two lines? We asked her to memorize a couple of the lines and deliver them in her, in her native language, and she came alive. As you just showed me, she came out and by the designer, she had a very big voice. She was like Charles. I didn't go. It was really bad. Really That's okay, we f up too. It was fun. I was taught to speak from my diaphragm. Hopefully that'll help me out. Early cover girls like Lisa von Grays to the runway stars of today like Sigrid Argen. She was reading it very monotone, didn't show me a lot of personality. The models who can own their je ne sais quoi uh, Megan didn't do so well, and her knowledge of the fashion industry was very disappointing. Chanel, Dior, uh, Balin, Keg, really discouraged, really disappointed in myself. I'm gonna definitely try to talk a little less high pitched. If I could change my voice, I would tone it down a few notches. Action. Being Canada's next top model means being part of an illustrious tradition dating back to couturier Charles Frederick Worth. My expectations of Heather were 
kind of low, but something washed over her today that completely changed my opinion of her. Make it a little deeper and project a little more. The models who can own their je ne sais quoi are the ones who can rock any fashion aesthetic. Designers from Chanel, Dior, Balenciaga, Saint Laurent, Lacroix, Gauthier, Hermes. I think she's the you know the full package. They were happy that I, I pronounced the names, most of the names right. Oh. oh and there was a few French words here, and I was, I was happy. It was like, je ne sais quoi. So I was like, mm. I wasn't really expecting much from Tara, and that's exactly what she delivered. The models who can own their je ne sais quoi are the ones who can rock any fashion aesthetic design from Chanel, Dior, Dale Giaga, Saint Laurent, Lacroix, Pro. You know what? Me and you are going to go shopping at Channel together. I'm taking you this afternoon. Channel. We're going to Channel. Chanel. 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 I'm really sorry, guys. Her charisma, you know, and her knowledge of fashion were completely non existent. Chanel. If I want to call Dior Dior, you should be okay with that. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit nervous today, actually, because before I got into modeling, I was really an actress. They're going to be having some high expectations. She wants to be an actor. That's her passion and dream in life. Why is she here taking the opportunity away from so many other girls? She says she's an actress, but she was all over the place. Any fashion aesthetic designers from Chanel, Dwyer, Dyer, Dior, Dior. I'm so Go. sorry. I've just figured out how little I know about the fashion industry. Here comes Rebecca who's going to mess up everything that is ever foreign to her because she can't pronounce anything. She masks like her real personality with this over the top zany character. Steven Mizell! Yes! That is his name! Hey! I don't I don't believe it. I think it's just a cover up for something else. I just felt like an idiot out there. I tried to cover it up with haha. <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. Come out. Hey! <laughs> That's when the anxiety starts to creep in that, oh God, I've embarrassed myself so badly, no one's ever gonna take myself seriously, and they're gonna look at me and they're gonna laugh all the time because she's such a stupid girl. So today's challenge was a lot to take in. We wanted to draw that charisma out of you and it was a lot to have to read the script and to make it interesting and to keep us engaged. Of everyone, Tara was, Tara, you were the least charismatic of, of the group. Don't get so hung up on the specifics, just deliver. But we do have a challenge winner today. The challenge winner is, comes, Heather. Congratulations, Heather. You were really dynamic, engaging, and articulate. She absolutely is one of the girls that stands out to me the most. She could have a shot at having an international career, absolutely. Heather finding her voice is making her more competition for the rest of the girls. Of course, Heather has been stiff competition since the beginning. If Heather's first, I'm second. If Heather's second, I'm third. Your prize is waiting for you back at the loft. Okay. And we're hoping that you take everything you've learned today and bring it to the next judging, please. Oh no, evicted. What? I just oh, remained what? ice maidens, your room is on ice. There was an eviction notice on the door for me and Nikki to move our stuff into the other girl's room. We had like 30 minutes to do it. Holy f Oh, it's one of those little computers that we yeah. have in the house. Really? Use this to learn more about the fashion industry. Great job, Mike and Irina. Yay! And our room was a complete mess, so it was like, oh my god. You know, now we have to move all this stuff. Seriously, it sucks. Oh, they like... They put our beds in. They there. rearranged. I missed my bunk. I don't want to be all the way in the corner. We are all in the same room now. They took away our bunk beds, so there's less floor space more girls. My bunk bed was gone and that really depressed me because I love that bunk bed and I love being on the top bunk. Okay, so are those two beds me and Heather's beds right there? The one in the middle is mine. Nikita, she's like, oh, that one must be mine. So Heather, you can have that one. And I'm like, actually, no, that one's mine. Oh, okay. The dynamic has changed quite a bit. Why don't you just ask Rebecca if she'll move here? Because I'm sure if you were to ask nicely and civilly, I'm sure she would not have a problem. Would you want to move to this bed? And I'm like, not really. I like that bed. And then she's like, oh. Please let me sleep in the corner. Heather, I cannot sleep beside Rebecca. I'll lose my shit. I can't do it. She didn't want to sleep beside me, so she gave it to Heather instead. So. 
I think that she has a lot of issues, and honestly, if she doesn't go home in the next elimination, I'm going to be pissed. Hi girls, they say beauty is skin deep. Today you get to see it for yourself. Naked? I have no idea. Good morning. Welcome to MedCan. I'm Dr. Paul Cohen. Today we're going to analyze your skin. We went to this dermatologist and he did a skin consultation on us. The three important steps is first, cleansing your skin is important. Choose the right cleanser based on your skin type. Obviously it's important to moisturize your skin. Find a moisturizer that you like that doesn't make your skin break out, that has a sunscreen incorporated into it. And the other thing to do with your skin is to treat. Make sure you pick a product that has ingredients that will help your skin look young. Our skin is like a business card in this industry. He completely dissected our skin layer by layer. This is the Vizia machine. Okay. And this is going to do an analysis of your complexion. So our first picture is your ultraviolet damage. What's on the TV? Oh, snap. It's what they're doing. Your skin's in pretty good condition, but most of this wear and tear on your skin is before age 18. Even though you don't see the damage yet, it's coming. And we need to pick some products that'll help keep your skin looking as young as possible. The texture of the skin is great. Porphyrins are markers of bacteria, so there's a little bit of activity around the nose. Very little evidence of wrinkles yet. Close your eyes. You really do need to use sunscreen daily. Look at all the sun damage that you have. I pretty much knew he was going to tell me my skin is not so good. In this complexion analysis, we can see lots of brown freckles. Oh my god. He said my skin was typical of Irish. This is showing you some of the ultraviolet damage you've had. You have to become a religious sunscreen user. What's your wrinkles percentage? Bad. Do you have less wrinkles than 99% of the people your age? You're still young, but they'll come. Don't worry. No, they will not. No. <laughs> Okay, so your skin's looking quite good. Do you have any trouble with your skin? No, I don't. I just... You're lucky. My skin is better than 90% of the average. I'm so jealous. So we're all done. Some of you got some good news, some of you got some bad news. Don't forget to protect your skin, take good care of it, and good luck to all of you. J-Mail! <gasps> Hi, girls. Even if you lose your voice, you still have to face the world. J. So do you think this is going to lead into the beauty shoot? I think it's a good guess. Good morning. Hi. Well, this week you learned all about bringing your charisma front and center. Today's photo shoot is going to be a fabulous, extremely dramatic beauty shot. <laughs> but there is just one twist. You're not going to have the luxury to communicate with your mouth because I'm going to seal up your mouth with duct tape. Now, Lindsay, you definitely know how to work that body, but me and you are going to be in a lot of hot water if I don't make your eyes pop today. For the previous two photo shoots, they couldn't see my face and my eyes. I have to make sure my eyes are visible. So you girls had your assessment today. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, Ole are experts in beauty care. So if you guys get on these computers, Ole will tell you what you need for your skin type. Skin is the canvas that you have as a model. It's like people need to paint on a clean canvas. Ole gave us a bunch of UV protection stuff and some really great products to um, help take care of our skin better. Clarifying cleanse, foaming cleanser, dual action cleanser. All day moisturizer lotion and I had complete defense UV facial. My eyes look like I'm dead right now. I have issues with my whole face because I grew up with the sun every single day of my life. So I guess from now on, I just have to take really good care of my skin and everything else. When the doctor showed me I had so much UV damage, I was like, oh my god. OK, now I really need to use sunscreen every day. Am I very fair or fair? You're very fair. OK, you can go away for makeup. Today, we're here at the Easy on the 5th in downtown Toronto, and today we're going to do our stylized beauty shoot. Let's get on your mark. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. The makeup and the hair was very interesting, very stylized. The girls had to work hard to pull it off, so it was a challenging photo shoot for the girls. How are you feeling, Heather? Oh, can't talk. Ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> 
I understand, like, a lot of high fashion beauty shoots are strange makeup. Just really focus on the core of who you are and bring it through the camera. Also play with your head angle more? Yes. Thanks. Heather gave us a lot of variety. She was trying lots of different things. The hair thing kind of works. The eyebrows, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just don't get the concept. You started out really, really good. Now you're getting a little, I hate to use the word, not pretty. But still make it beautiful, even though you're so dramatic. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, Heather. How'd it go? OK, Nikita. You look fantastic. I know you can't talk now. I love you that way. Competition is stiff. Beautiful, beautiful there. Keep the eyes a little bit more open, because it is beauty. Nikita is a very beautiful girl. She has great bone structure in her face. She did have trouble on set following direction. Chin up a bit. Stronger chin eyes, up a bit chin more. up. How do you think you did? Horrible. I don't think I nailed it. I think that I'm probably going to be going home. <laughs> it's an intense look, but it's not so much fun to wear. I must have the eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't be smiling, because you may be going home. No, you I don't know get the this. shot. I know. <laughs> I know I definitely tried to make my eyes come alive. Whether or not I did it, not 100% sure. Really give me a story. Squint those eyes. She was completely focused on the camera. Almost too much, I would have to say. Lindsay, give me range now. Chin up. We say chin up, and her chin would go way too far up. We say chin down, and it would go way too far down. There was no subtlety. Two, one. Okay. People were taking off my makeup. People were adding makeup. I had no idea what was going on. It kind of made me a little bit nervous, and that really scared me a little bit. And then you are pushing. A bunch of girls were done, so we all watched her photo shoot. <laughs> Rebecca was very expressive. I don't think she fully understood the best angles for her face and the light. Don't touch the tape. Not like that. Partway through, we like you know lost interest and started like talking about funny stuff, and started laughing and like. We're laughing like quite loud through her photo shoot. Good. She's gonna think we're laughing. People are watching me. I could feel people watching me. I could see the camera in my face. Too scary. It's too much. Yeah. Not scary. We're still doing a beauty shot. Don't wrinkle your brow like that. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. And then I was like, I failed. See now, I see everything in your eyes. Why couldn't you do that earlier? I don't have an excuse. I just need to breathe. Just wanted to make it clear and let her know what was going on. We weren't laughing at you. We just wanted to let you know. It's okay. We were Please. making jokes. She's just like, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Like, leave me alone. I want you to know we weren't like laughing at you or anything. Rebecca actually had a little bit of a breakdown. She literally just started bawling and couldn't stop. Rebecca was feeling like vulnerable or upset or I don't know it's hard to say exactly like why she was upset she's crying is she it probably just the whole situation was really overwhelming it's basically just a panic attack and I came to this competition to not deal with that bullshit. who knows maybe we'll have a second girl that drops out of the competition hi mom hi um <laughs> I need to talk to you um I don't mean to freak you out it's late. <laughs> I'm having a bit of a panic attack, and I'm just trying to breathe because I don't want to break down completely. Life goes on, and you just got to take everything on your way, learn from your mistakes and everything, and just go on. Each of these photo shoots count for a lot, because you never know when the next girl's going home. Okay. Tara has an incredible body. She's long and lean. But she didn't give me any range in face. It was the same sad, boring eyes. Tara, let's don't use your hands. Just all in your face. Sometimes it's good to see a little focus in your eyes. Your eyes are always kind of the same. Some girls said they did good, and some girls said they did horrible. But it's always like, oh, I did horrible. Then you're going to have the best picture, you know? I wanted so badly to win it. So how do you think you did? I don't know. I'm just kind of stay positive right now. Tara, she has a great body, but she doesn't know still how to work with her eyes. You have to really, really learn how to pose with your eyes and practice. <sighs> I have no one to talk to right now. <sighs> and I'm just freaking out a little bit. She didn't reach out at all at any point. She never has in this whole competition. 
It didn't go very well, and I know it didn't go very well. <sighs> and I'm just freaking out a little bit. I don't know how she's gonna deal with the fact that she's gonna walk through a runway with thousands of people watching her. You ready to be sealed? Mm -hmm. All about that. Miriam was very dramatic, overly dramatic. I don't know what's going on with you. I need to have more range with your good, eyes. Good. She's a very beautiful girl. We did get some great shots of her. She's gonna get a good shot. So your chin's up too much now. It looks like you're strangling yourself. One more. Got you. I always, when I think it's when it went great and everybody was happy, it turned out to not be great in judging. And when it's, I'm not happy with that, it turned out to be really good. How'd you do? Okay. It's hard to tell anymore, hey? Before every school picture day in elementary school, my mom would make me sit in front of the mirror. She'd like cover up my mouth and tell me, smile with your eyes, smile with your eyes. So hopefully that helped me out. You did well. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were well. Nice, like that. Megan blew me away with her beauty shoot. She was really flirtatious with her eyes. She gave me true emotion. I was hearing her story just with her eyes today. That's you. it. That's so now you. you're giving me a story. More like that. Good. Nice. Nice. I think Megan was probably the best today. She has very expressive eyes. Such a variety. From frame to frame, she changed it and changed it and changed it. Beautiful. Chris is such a great photographer. I mean, he's worked with some of the best, so working with him was such an honor. Okay, that's it. Coming out of the photo shoot, I don't really know where I stand in the competition. <laughs> Ew, that's <laughs> so painful. <laughs> oh, Mary, is she gonna take <laughs> What happened to Rebecca? Like Rebecca. Rebecca, she didn't end up coming back to the house with us. I don't know what's up with that. Well, well I felt bad because, like, I think she thought we were laughing at her, but we told her we weren't. No, we weren't were not. No, not at all. Oh, oh hey, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> we're not sure where she is or what's going on with her. Me and Lindsay just want a cheese pizza. There is chocolate sauce upstairs. No way. <laughs> I felt so bad, I felt unprofessional, and I felt terrible. FYI, I don't think we should bring up her emotional breakdown. If she I think, haven't. I I know, I'm just saying, yeah. if she brings it up to us, let me bring it up. Nobody wanted to set her off again. We knew that she was in a, on very shaky ground. Not good. She acted like nothing happened. It was just really bizarre. What doesn't kill you only makes you stranger. Guys, we have a J mail! Hi, girls. The way you present yourself says a lot, but your photos tell the whole story. Tomorrow, the judges have the last word. I am a little worried. I'm going to be very disappointed that my name will not be called if it's not called. I don't know. I hope I'm still here tomorrow. Peace out. I want to win Cannes next time all, but if you look at me, I don't think I look high fashion. If I go home today, I'll be really crushed. I don't want to go home, but to know that I've made it this far is a very huge accomplishment for me. I keep telling everybody you always have to expect the unexpected. Pressure is setting in. Well, hello, hello, hello. I feel like some charisma has walked into the room. I love it. Look, I got my charismatic outfit on. Catch it, the lining matches the shirt. Okay. You know, one of the things I love about this business is I get to work with designers such as Dyer and Channel and Hermes. Right, Jeannie? What? Channel, 
Dwyer, Le Croix, Gautier, Hermé. I'm shocked. <laughs> These are household names. But you know what? We're going to get to that in a moment. We have some amazing prizes. A modeling contract with top agency Elmer Olsen Models, an editorial spread in Fashion Magazine, and a $100,000 contract with P&G Beauty, makers of Perfect 10 by Nice and Easy and Olay. Now, of course, our judges who are dying to hear about all this charisma you were bringing to the table this week. First, highly sought after celebrity and fashion photographer, Mr. Mike Ruiz. I was gonna tell you guys, I hope you brought your charisma, but clearly you have. Uh-huh. <laughs> Supermodel at the top of her game, Yasmin Warsame. Hi, girls. I have to say, you guys look wonderful. Fashion journalist and editor, and now highly upset that you guys <laughs> just ruined every designer name. I, well, especially because you guys look like you just walked out of a Chanel editorial, <laughs> all in cheap black and white. And now we've got a special guest this week, and you all had a chance to work with her. Charismatic, top model, muse to Mr. Karl Lagerfeld from Chanel, Irena Lazarenu. Hi, girls. Nice to see you. Well, now it's time for your individual assessments. And guess what? Right front and center. Miriam, you're first. Hi, guys. You've got smiles today. You don't look all serious. When you first walked into judging those earlier weeks, you'd say, I've learned my lesson. You I'm have. I'm speaking louder, I'm smiling. This week, all of you had to do a beauty shot. I really wanted you all to understand the importance of bringing charisma to a photograph, telling the story in your face without the use of your mouth. So all their mouths have duct tape on it. Let's take a look at your best shot, Mary. Wow. wow. Hello. Oh, you, you're saying oh. a lot. I'm not surprised at all, though, by this shot, because I think consistently you have an incredibly strong energy. And I like how your body is tense, too. Strong eye contact, very strong picture. Did you practice beforehand? Yes, uh, I always practice. Taking those few moments in front of the mirror helps you get into character, and I think that's why you've been successful every week. Thank you so much. OK, thanks, Thank Miriam. You. All right, Madam Nikita, let's take a look at your best shot. Oh, yes. There's a connection with the camera that is undeniable with the shot. I'm not sure exactly what it is you're saying. You know what? I don't but, care what oh, she's saying. Exactly. I don't I'm care. Carrying. I don't even but care see, that, today. I don't know what you're saying, but you're forcing me to believe it in this picture. I was just trying to say, like, you know what? Just because you put tape over my mouth, you can't stop me. I'm still who I am, and I'm still going to give you 100%. You look very empowered there. Some people on a very superficial level would say, oh, tape on the mouth, you know, how misogynistic or exactly. what is But not at all. This shows how you can have tape on your mouth and still look like you rule the world. Okay, thanks, Nikita. Tara, you're next. Let's take a look at your best shot. Mm, you look a bit scared. There's such a tentative look in your expression. Right. The whole concept behind the shoot was supposed to be, I am so powerful, you cannot silence me. If you're not going to be comfortable enough to take this and give it strength, there, there's going to be a lot of challenges in the working market that are a lot harder than this. If I was putting that hair and makeup, I'd be letting you have it. You know, you're just kind of stand, hanging out. You got to embody the vibe and the idea and the energy. This was your picture to just come out of the box. Anything but standing there as if this is a normal makeup and hair. I don't feel charisma coming out of there. All right, Heather. Now, wasn't Heather the challenge winner? Indeed she was. When I heard that, I said, they said, who? Who yeah. won the challenge? <laughs> Heather, who won the challenge? This was more of a personal challenge for me because I have always struggled with um, anxiety socially. You've got to find a way to fake it to make it. Let's see if you could carry it through to your photo, OK, Heather? Mm -hmm. See, I like it. It's ethereal in a way, like she's transcending her silence with yes. her eyes. I like the femininity around your shoulders and your neck and, and your hand. It really tells a story, the best photographs that we see in fashion really do that in very simple, subtle ways. Nole was shocked that you took to this modern makeup extremely well. Oh. Thanks, Heather. Okay. Thank you. All right, Lindsay, charisma, personality, what are you, you going to give me that shows me that today? Okay. Oh, she oh. came up. Oh, no. Oh, pretty confident. Okay. Nice. Let's see if you can bring that charisma to your photo. Let's see your best shot. 
Well, can we just say hallelujah? I saw Lindsay's eyes in a photo. It's a beautiful shot, but it looks more like a catalog shot to me. The pose, not the face, the pose feels a bit remedial. It's like you're pulling down your shoulder to camera. This one's hiked up, whereas I would have almost liked to see something to create more of a shape. To coordinate your body language with your, your facial face. expression doesn't come right away, but your eyes are gorgeous. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you. All right, Rebecca, let's see if you were able to uh, sell us this very high art form beauty shop. I love the hand. Beautiful. How can you say anything negative about this? Yeah, it gorgeous is makeup, gorgeous girl, gorgeous photograph. But I feel like I've seen this from you before. Yes. And I'm going back to that first photograph, you know, oh, the, the, the twiggy, kind of wide eyed. I mean, you do that really well. There's nothing wrong with that. That may well become your trademark. But again, it, it's the only reservation. After this photo shoot, I felt like I had done a terrible job. And I had to call my mom because I had a panic attack. My anxiety happens with people judging me, looking at me, it terrifies me. It is gonna get tighter, it's gonna get tougher, and this is where you have to pull through even harder. All right, thanks Rebecca. Thank you. All right, Megan, you're next. She's looking a little Chanel meets Grease Lightning, love it. <laughs> How did you feel in terms of pulling out your charisma this week? It was difficult. I think I got the hang of it and I started talking a little bit louder and a little bit more confident, so. You deliver time after time, and then in front of us, you act like as if you're not comfortable in your own skin. I don't know, I'm learning. Like, this is all new to me, so obviously coming in front of you, I never know what to expect, so I am nervous. Let's take a look at your best shot. Mm. This is very high fashion. I am just blown away by the hair, makeup, everything. Of all the girls here, Megan, I think you have more experience working without your mouth, because you've been happy. <laughs> The handicap, if you want to call it that, of the braces. There's no question that this is like a breathtaking shot. And I think if you would have just done a little something a little more intense with your eyes, it would have sold the idea a little more. We are getting further in the competition where it's not just about delivering pretty pictures. Now we got to always add on another layer, add on another layer. Okay, thanks, Megan. When I call you back in, I'll let you know which one of you will be going home this evening. Aside from looking at these stunning photos, you need to think about how the girls presented themselves today. Did they step up or did they fade in the background? Megan. Megan shoots incredible pictures. I'm constantly disappointed in how she is in front of us. She is in her character on this picture. When she's in front of me, I don't know who she is. People might look at Megan and Heather and say, oh, they're the same person. Megan now has to make herself stand out to keep her in the running. Tara. She's gorgeous, probably the best body in the competition. Gorgeous. I'm disappointed in Tara's developmental pace, to be honest Very with you. Very slow, yeah. Very slow. She could have taken this incredible hair and makeup and used it to elevate herself. She was completely victimized by this makeup. Nikita. Some of the girls just don't stand out to me the way Nikita does. Nikita has an edge. If I would just take this picture and look at it, I'd be like, she's ready to go out there and do her thing. I see a lot of self-worth, a lot of high fashion. I don't see a lot of tension. Rebecca. She's expressing the hair and the makeup appropriately. I love girls with personality and character, and she's got it. I think at this stage, Rebecca's becoming predictable and sticking to what she knows. I'm just going to go... You know, Miriam. Miriam conveyed the idea completely. Her body language has such strength in it and, you know, the intensity in her eyes. She made it through a very difficult photo shoot last week and she's taking no prisoners. When I look at this photo, the duct tape on her mouth is the last thing I notice. Heva. She really is the one that consistently seems to know what she's doing. Stunning as she is, plays it so safe and to please. In a way, Sometimes. predictable. Lindsay. When she says she's going to nail something, she does it, and I think this is an improvement. This is definitely a beautiful shot, but what makes it beautiful is the hair and the makeup and the styling. It's not Lindsay selling it to us. Lindsay's a tricky one for me. I think she's progressing at a turtle pace. But does the turtle beat the hair at the end of the competition? Who knows? But who knows? Wow. Intense week, but we made our decision. There was a lot going on this week. But the fact is, I still have only six photos in my hands. And the six photos represent 
the young women who will continue on in hope of becoming Canada's next top model. The first name I'm going to call and who has photo of the week for the second time. Miriam. You pushed through this week. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. The next name I'm going to call. Running real close to photo of the week. Again for a second time. Nikita. You knew you were being called real soon, didn't you? Yeah. You're feeling it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Heather. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Megan. Thank you. The judges couldn't help but notice your resemblance to Heather's photo this week. The reason you stand just behind Heather is because they don't feel like you push through in your face. Next name I'm going to call. Rebecca. We love the photo. We've seen this expression, okay? And we've seen the eyes closed. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Will Tara and Lindsay please step forward? You both stand here because the judges feel that you're on a plateau. Tara, the judges look at you and say, wow, she's got the body, she's got the limbs. This was a beauty shot, but your limbs still tell a story. And the story you told was a woman holding back, a woman restrained. Lindsay, you finally gave us your eyes and your face. The judges feel that if you stripped all that hair, makeup, and creative away, it was just a pretty face. Both your photos, for different reasons, that charisma was missing. I only have one photo in my hands. Whoever's name I do not call must go back to the house, pack their bags, and go home. Maybe you can find a way to translate that runway walk into a photo and say. Oh, happy to meet you here. <laughs> Congratulations, you're still in the running towards becoming Canada's next top model. Thank you. Thank you. You know what, Tara, you really stand there before us looking like a model. You have it in you, you could get there. <laughs> okay, I want to see you walking, doing yeah. your thing. Yeah. Walk it out. Yeah, yeah. Work, work. Yeah. Oh, oh. Do it. Yeah. Oh. It's something I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. I'm sad. I'm going home. But at the end of the day, only one of us can win. It looks pretty easy, but it's not actually. I'm happy that I got the chance to be here. I mean, thousands of girls who have died to be in my place. Like Jay said, when a door closed, a window opens. So that's how I see it. <laughs>